Hey, what's up, guys? So, I'm just on my way here to our weekly Bible study that we do here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, we're going to live stream it on Instagram. But uh, just wanted to come on here and uh, just talk to you guys about doing things, going places, making decisions, planning, and things like that. Okay? The first thing I want to tell you guys as believers, we have to make sure that we're not being impulsive and that we're also not leading ourselves, right? We have to make sure that when we make decisions, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go meet with this person. I'm going to go hang out with that person. Let's make sure that we're not just doing uh, what we feel like or what you know our impulses are leading us to do or even our emotions let's make sure that before we do something or plan something we ask God if he wants us to do that or go hang out with this person or go to this place or not let's ask God what he wants us to do <clears throat> man that's a whole lot of something back there praise God my God created that your God created that the creator of all things praise the Lord so what I was saying is just make sure that before you go somewhere and do something that God tells you do that. God may want you to stay home. God may want you to go somewhere else instead. He might want you to, to not hang out so much. He might want you to go do some ministry instead or go hang out with, you know, brothers and sisters and just get in the word together or something like that. You guys ever think about that before you make decisions? I know we all like to say we follow Jesus. I know we all like to say that we're spirit led. That God is the one in control of my life. But very few of us actually ask God what he wants us to do today. Few of us actually pray before we make decisions and do things. So before you make a decision, before you do something, before you go somewhere, ask God if that's what he wants you to do. You have to truly be spirit led. The Lord may lead you um, to go somewhere where he's actually going to use you. Or the Lord may tell you to not go somewhere where you're going to be led to stumble, led to sin. The Lord may tell you not to go somewhere where there's going to be danger and trouble. You might get killed. You might get arrested, right? We see the Lord telling Paul not to go here, not to go there. We see the Lord, um, you know, himself fleeing, you know, running away from crowds and not always staying and not always going with the flow, but being led by the Spirit, only doing what the Father wanted him to do and speaking what the Father wanted him to speak. So we have to to be led by the Holy Spirit if we are Christians, not just on Sundays, not just when we do ministry and evangelize, every day because the Lord may be wanting to lead us into somewhere where he's going to use us powerfully. But if we just do what we want to do, we're just going to end up where the fun and entertainment and family time is and not where the Lord is wanting to bring something to the harvest that he knows is there. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. A lot of us just run into things, run into trouble, run into danger, right? Um, and, and of course, you know, persecution, suffering, danger, death, you know, a lot of things um, <clears throat> are things that we're going to have to endure as, as, as believers, as Christians. You know, there's, there, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing unbiblical about that. But when we go to it, and, and, and it's not because we're Christians, when we go to it, and it's because we did something that the Lord told us not to do or wanted to tell us not to do, but because we didn't listen to him or pray or even, you know, meditate on, 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 on his word, we did something that he really didn't want us to do at that time. So I just want to remind y'all, pray before you make decisions, pray before you take vacations, pray before you buy something, pray before you make a move, pray before you hang out with somebody on the weekend, pray before you make your plan for the day, pray before you go somewhere. You know, I, I don't care if you, you say it's dumb, it, it, it's minor, it's minute things, it's that's petty. No, 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 no. Do you really want to serve God? Do you really want to um, have God protect you, provide for you, and use you? Then if you do, you have to be led by him. You can't just go where you want to go and still expect everything that God wants to happen to happen if you're not even listening to where he wants you to go, where he doesn't want you to go. A lot of y'all meet the wrong people because you're not led by God. A lot of y'all meet the right people because you actually pray. So let's just pray and let's make sure we're doing what God tells us to do. We can't be Christians who just say, Christianity is not a religion. It's a relationship with Jesus. But y'all don't really have a relationship with the Lord. Y'all don't even pray. Y'all don't even converse with the Lord, talk to him, or pray without ceasing. Y'all see what I'm saying? 
and you know Christianity is a religion and a relationship because <laughs> we, we we are a a belief in God with with rules yeah with with a word with leadership with structure but we also have the ability to know God and fellowship with the Holy Spirit and have a relationship with him so so Christianity is both all right i hope that before y'all do something next time y'all pray and make sure that's what the lord wants you to do amen hope this blesses you have a good day see y'all soon let's grow